everybody on Facebook Live. This is Cynthia Basin from Smart Chick, your kick in the duff mentor that helps you step into your personal and professional greatness. I first want to start off and say thank you, live viewers, for any of you that come in live. And of course, this comes with a lot of replay viewers. So I have got a special guest today, and so many people probably do not know my special guest. But he is one of my absolute favorites on Periscope. Um, his name is Yajakated, and his website is yajakated.com. I will spell that out a little bit later in the broadcast because it took me forever to learn how to spell Yajakated. But I thought this guy would be the perfect person. And we've got two people live already, Yajakated, that you know what to talk about the subject. How do you stay positive in a negative world? So that's what Yaja Kated and I are going to be talking about today. But before we start off, I would love Yaja Kated to introduce himself uh, to the smart chicks and the smart dudes of the world. So Yaja Kated, I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Share a little bit about yourself. Well, good afternoon. But um, I'm a motivational speaker and a music artist. Um, what got me into it was basically um, growing up, by the time I hit the first grade, I was already uh, held back. I was told that I wouldn't even pass elementary school, was told that I wouldn't even pass high school, and I did both of those. And I also went on and got my emergency medical technician. So with that being said, it motivated me to become a motivational speaker to help somebody else achieve those things that they said were impossible. So that's basically what I do. I, I do it through music. I do it through motivation. And me and my wife, we just get together, do it through shirts and blogs. And that's what we're about. Absolutely love it. And you know what? Hopefully, here we go. So I want to share. Isn't this cool, Yajakated? You've already got your website up on Facebook Live. So that's where you can find Yajakated. So I'm going to keep that up on the screen a little bit. So let's say a couple shout outs here to some people. So Melissa Dias is on Periscope, Yajakated. Um, he, she is at Melissa D. Coffee on Periscope. Uh, so let's Coffee. say hi. So say hello to Melissa. What's going on, Melissa? <laughs> and then one of my smart chicks is oh, Shelly Harris. Shelly. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So we'll have some people hopefully stop in, but we'll definitely have a lot of replay viewers. So awesome. So I brought Yasha Kaden on Melissa and Shelly and all the replay viewers because this guy is so fired up every single day on Periscope. I go in his periscopes and I am just ready to just rock and roll once he starts, uh, you know, getting out his message. So it's going great, Melissa. It's going Shelly. So you know what, Yester Kated? So I'm going to assume this because you know what? You've told a little bit of your story, but you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth, were you? Uh, no. And I'm still trying to find that silver spoon. <laughs> so tell me this. Let's get this uh, topic started. And everybody, please ask your questions below because I want to go a little bit more into your background. So go a little bit further into you talk about some phrases that were told to you that, you know, you weren't good enough or you couldn't pass. Go into that a little bit and how that affected you when you were younger. How it affected me when I was little, they basically... And first grade, before first grade, um, they put me in a special ed class and told me that, hey, you're told me and my parents would have had a little of uh, teachers and, hey, your son doesn't learn good. Um, he, he has a reading comprehension level. He will never be able to hang out with the normal kids. Um, so with that being, my mom has always and my dad has always told me, there's nothing impossible. You don't have to listen to what somebody else has told you. You make your own destiny. You make your own legacy. Hey, educated. I don't mean to interrupt you, but someone is saying that it's echoing a little bit. So I don't know if you were just can turn your volume down just a tad. Okay. It could have been me. They're saying we're good now. So go ahead, educated. Yeah. So with that, I have always since a little kid have battled with not more so of the outer world, but the inner me of listening to these chickens. Um, I like to use the phrase, 
eagles don't hang out with chickens. So with these chickens coming in my ear telling me, hey, you're not good enough. By the time I hit eighth grade, it's, oh, you only have a third grade reading level. You can never get to the next level. But every time when I focused in, um, like lions do, when I just focus in and just throw it all out, just, hey, these chickens don't know what they're talking about. Uh, and when I decide to block out that, those distractions, those noises, when I decide to do that, I see myself doing the impossible, taking all myself right. from. Well, let me stop you there, you educated, because you know what? So many times we say, you know what? Block out the distractions, right? Reduce the noise. Don't listen to those chickens. Hang with eagles, right? But yeah. isn't it a little harder to do than actually just saying it to yourself? Like, you know, so what point in your life did you start saying that, you know what? These people don't know what they're talking about. At some point during your life, did you believe it? Did you, you know, with all those messages coming to you that, you know, you weren't good enough, you wouldn't be able to pass grades and that sort of thing. Is that, did that affect you? Like you started to believe it at some point? Well, I'm 28 years old now and I still wrestle with it. Um, mm -hmm. Certain aspects when I try to tackle it, when let's say me and my wife, we get up and we do devotions in the morning. And I'm like, OK, I'll read. I'll start reading it. Once I start stumbling over words, then that's when those negative chicken thoughts come in my head. And I'm just like, oh, I'm not good enough for this. I'm not good. And then my wife, let me turn back on my light. There we go. Um, then my wife will have to motivate me and to go, no, 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 no. Don't go back to your old ways of thinking. Focus in on how far you came. So every day certain things um, try to just come back. But I just have to tell myself, you know what? You you done this, you done that, you can keep going. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a daily battle, but mm -hmm. your mind is like a dog without a leash. So if you don't put a leash on your mind, it's gonna run about wildly and you're gonna start believing those things that uh, other people have told you. Mm. So I'm just going to bring up a couple messages. Um, I've already kind of posted them, but Shelly Harris, who is starting a, a coaching mentoring company, her whole message is that, you know what, she was programmed a certain way. So she lived a certain life, um, educated that she was programmed basically to act like an adult from the age, you know, of young age that she basically had to be an adult. She wasn't able to have the fun that she wanted as a kid. So do you feel that, you know what, people's messages, they do actually get programmed into your head? Yes, I, I believe that they do get programmed in your head, but I also started to believe those things that are programmed in your head, you have the power to reprogram yourself. Um, working in the smartphone industry with Apple and Samsung, when they come out with their, their phones, they have a certain software inside that phone. And then a couple months later, they have you upgrade to another software on that right. phone. So as people, we have to do the same where we constantly have to change the software that's inside of our heads. You may have had to grow up earlier and be an adult early, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy your adulthood. You can't enjoy where you're at right now. Don't allow those chickens to tell you who you are you let the chickens know who you are. So a, a, a lion doesn't concern itself with the opinions of a sheep. When a lion goes through its day, it doesn't concern itself with the hyena is going to do. It doesn't concern itself with the cheetah is going to do. What the lion does is just focuses in on its greatness and goes, you know what? Today's the day that I'm going to leave a legacy for my family. Because at the end of the day, those haters, those chickens, what I had to tell myself is they put their pants on the same way I put on mine. You know what? You got some yeah. great nuggets. See, everybody, I knew that Yoshi Gated was going to be absolutely awesome to have on today. He does this stuff on Periscope. He puts these phrases out there. And, you know, I want to break these down a little bit, um, as I always say, educated on my uh, broadcast, because some of the stuff that you're saying is so awesome. Um, and uh, Melissa is saying great analogy that you had said. Um, that is awesome. And I want to say uh, give a shout out, Yoshi Gated, to Monica, who has joined us live on Facebook Live. What's good, what's good, Monica? <laughs> I love this guy. Love this guy. And Shelly says great words. 
is that, you know what? So changing the software in our head, which kind of relates to what Shelly Harris does is changing our programming. So mm -hmm. let me ask you this. Do you think that you could have changed the software, changed the programming in your head alone? No. Um, me, myself, trying to tackle things on my own, nah, it, it never works out. Um, I used to just go by Yajik Edit, and then um, God had me put in there, the stranger who encourages. And I threw that in there because at one point in time, when I got through elementary school, I got through high school, and I thought, okay, I'm done. School is over with. I'm done. I'm never going back. Then I heard God go, hey, get your, um, become emergency medical technician. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, hold up. I only have like a third grade reading level. I barely passed high school. I didn't know what pronouns and verbs were until mm -hmm. I hit high school. Um, now you want me to try to go save people's lives. That's, <laughs> that's outside of the box. Right. But going through there, going through the test, I felt my class six times, six times. And then after the third time, you have to basically take the whole program all over again. Okay. But every time I film my wife and then my, my instructor, his name is Sean Lyons. They were like, no, you can't quit. No, you can't quit. Because in my head, I started going back to what they told me. I can't pass tests. I'm not good enough. Um, I would never get this. I would never comprehend it. But then they decided to no, 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 no. And on the fifth time that I felt the test, I just woke up and I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'm done. Thank you, guys. I'm going to move on to something else in my life. OK, but they, didn't let me. they ended up signing me up for the test without me knowing. And oh. they were like, hey, you have you have to be here at this time. So I end up showing up and it's me taking the test one more time. And I took the test one more time. Hold and the up, next Mitch, day. Hold up for one second. So you got a positive kick in the duff to take it one more time. Yes, I got me a hold on. I got <laughs> me a I got me a, a smart chick kick in the duff where they <laughs> were like, no, you you can't quit. But that's and I realized having people like that in my corner is the reason why I'm at where I'm at right now because I was ready to quit on the fifth time. They made me take it one more time. And by me taking it that one more time, that that last time, I became an emergency medical technician. Dang. Everybody, let's so, stop and hold the presses for a second, Yaja Katie, because we've got some new people coming in. People are coming and going and stuff. So I like to do a quick refresh. Tracy Hilder's in the house from Periscope. Say hello, um, Yaja Katie, to Tracy. What's up, Tracy? <laughs> and Melissa is saying, praise the Lord to you, <laughs> having to do with you mm -hmm. taking that test again and what you've been through. So welcome in, everybody. And this is uh, Shelly's message to you. Woohoo. So everybody, let's stop the presses for a second. I got to introduce my guest again, is that, you know what? I am so honored and so blessed. This is actually everybody, Shelly, Monica, Tracy, um, Miss Melissa, this is actually the first time Yaja Kaden and I are actually talking live together. We have been supporting each other on Periscope forever now since we began probably about a year ago, right, Yaja Kaden? The goal is to get on Smart Chicks um, Periscopes and beat everybody else out and give the most hearts. That has been my mission. <laughs> and so Yaja Kated and I met on Periscope. We have been supporting each other since we began. And this guy just, you know what, is one of those people that honestly should be having 20, 30 million hearts right now. So I want to put um, his um, his Periscope handle in the chat screen while Yaja Kated, um continues on while I um, type it in the chat screen. So Yaja Kated, what would you tell people right now? Because you know what? There's so many people struggling, hearing negativity of all the stuff that's going on in the world right now is that if somebody is just feeling like, you know what, their life is just going down the freaking tubes and we've all been there, right? Is that yeah. someone is just on the verge of giving up and you know what? They're losing hope. Uh, their confidence is down um, and that sort of thing. Why don't you talk about if they were talking to you right now, Yoshikated? 
what would you say to them? You know what? They're crying to you. They're about to give up. Uh, they have no hope. They are ready to freaking quit. Why don't you um, uh, talk a little bit about that while I put your Periscope handle in here? So what I adopted was the mindset of a lion. I had to ask myself, Yajiketi, are you a lion or are you just lying? Ooh. And I always loved watching National Geographic's lions going after um, the gazelles and the antelope and elephants and all that. I just love watching that stuff. That stuff. So what I decided was, well, how about you dissect it and apply it to your life? And so what I dissected was, first of all, a lion doesn't concern itself with opinions of a sheep of these other animals. So first thing that you have to do is stop worrying about what other people think of you. Stop caring about what your mama thinks, what your daddy thinks, what your friends say. Stop caring about what your boss have told you. And sometimes you have to stop caring about what you have told yourself. And you have to put on the mindset of at the end of the day, you are among the living. You're among the privilege of having life. So live life to the fullest. You have a legacy that is depending on you. And so you got to put on that mindset of a lion. Also, what a lion does is a lion realizes it's not a it's not a race. It's a marathon. You Woo! never see a lion. You never see a lion just go out and do what a cheetah does. And a cheetah just runs out full speed uh, wanting you to to um, run for it can catch you. A lion creeps up slowly. So you got to be willing to go, OK, this is what I want to do. I want to get to here. I want this dream. I want this goal. First, I'm going to tune out all the negative people. I'm going to get away from all these chickens. And I'm deciding to run, run, run as fast as I can, giving it 130 and 140 percent. But I realize it's going to take patience. So you got to creep up slowly and you got to creep up slowly. And sometimes a lion, it roars, but uh, you never hear a lion roar when when it's coming up to its prey the lion is quiet and for some of us all right hold on this little light right here just want to keep going up but <laughs> for some of us we do a lot of talking yeah and sometimes you just gotta be quiet and have the action so a lion just creeps up slowly and when it's creeping up slowly it's focusing in on its target for me I was able to do all those things, but I never focused in on my target. And then I got on this thing called Periscope. And then this lady named Cynthia Bazin um, gave me a, a, a kick in the butt and was like, hey, you need to get laser focused on what you're doing. You're good at it. You have passion, but you're everywhere. You just have to find a target and go for it. So that's when I adopted the mentality. Oh, that's when I adopted the how you focusing in on one thing at a time. Yeah, you know, and so he's talking about, you know, people are going, okay, break this down a little bit about the lion creeping up and that sort of thing. So kind of what I take out of what Yajukate is saying is that, you know what, the lion is preparing, right? They have a plan. Mm -hmm. It's creeping up slowly, but it knows where it's going, right? It's got the blinders on, like we always talk about Yajukate, right? Is that it's got a mission, mm -hmm. it's got a plan. Yeah. So do you all have a plan, right? A plan of attack on your goals. That's what Yaja Kated, you know, in my mind is what he's saying. And I would love your comments below, but I wanted to give a couple shout outs because there's some new people in here. Uh, but Melissa loved the comment. Are you a lion or are you just lying? Hopefully you can see the comments that are throwing up there, Yaja Kated. I'm lying. You ain't Melissa. a lion. You got a lion, you got a lion background and you just lying on it. Melissa is saying powerful and give a shout out to Eric Estrada, who's saying preach, brother. Say hello to Eric. Eric, my man, my man, Eric, Eric Estrada has been rolling with me since high school. He was my neighbor back in the day that always kept me motivated. So what's up, Eric? Uh, I love it. I love it. So that's another comment. Let's see. And so, Tracy, I shared um, Yaja Kated's website. I'll put it up again afterwards, or actually, it's right here. If you guys want to take a screenshot, 
uh, take a picture with your phone, but I'll be sure. Um, we're going to be putting this out on YouTube as well, everybody. So this is going to be freaking everywhere, you guys. Located after this broadcast, we're going to have it as a YouTube link. It will be on my channel. Give it to Yad Shikated to share it out. So this is ever, everlasting. So we've got nine people in the room right now, Yad Shikated. Um, Let's see, Eric Estrada, your friend. Roar, baby. <laughs> and hey. uh, all right. And Melissa is going to be checking out the whole replay later. She's got some things to do. Tracy's going, wow, loving what you're saying. I love this, love this, love this. So perfect, perfect, everybody. Keep, uh, you know, the comments coming. If you've got a question for Yad Shikated, um, please um, put it in the chat stream below. And Tracy is saying that your scope is powerful. Every single thing that he does is absolutely powerful. So, all right. I love what you say about the whole lion thing and not listening to people. So now give some people advice out there because I hear this all the time um, as a mentor when I'm out on scopes and other live streaming is saying, listen, I don't have anybody in my inner circle. I don't have anybody that I can go to. Now, you know what? I don't know if you can answer this, you know, just kind of answer it from your heart, educated, is that, you know, what if people feel like there is nobody around them uh, that they can go to for help? We always do the hashtag ask for help, ask mm -hmm. for support. Mm -hmm. Is that what would you say to some kid or, you know, an adult that just feels like they're alone, but they obviously need support? How would you go about it? I will say to them, because I used to think that way. I used to think that I can tackle it on my own or nobody was there for me. But then I had to really go, that's, that's not true. Because before I got laser focused, I, you just have to surround yourself with people. You have to, I mean, you have to, how bad do you really want it? Like, mm -hmm. I, I knew I wasn't laser focused and I knew at, my wife would tell me, hey, you need to get focused. You need to get focused. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, yeah. <laughs> but. Then I decide, well, let me just tag along on this person's Periscope for a little bit. See what she's talking about. OK, she's always telling me to stay laser focused. You you put put yourself out there. Be willing to put yourself out there. There's only two type of people in the world. Winners are losers, and none of us are losers. God has made us to be more than conquerors, and you. But you have to be. You have to decide to be willing to lose. You have to decide to go. You know what? I'm going to put myself out there, and if nobody likes it, oh well, so what? And so that's what I I would say to you. There is always somebody there. If if your friends and your family aren't there, you got a smart chick. You got a Yajaketit. You got you got a I am fearless. You have people that you may not think will be there for you, but they're there. And that's how I got my EMT. It was somebody that I didn't even know, my instructor, that he decided I'm just going to invest in you. So you have somebody, you just have to reach out there and just put it all out there on the table. I have many people. I have a guy named Brian Snowball that helped me out and help me stay focused and help me grow as a uh, grow as a man. I have people out there, but I had to be willing to go, you know what? Help me, please. I need some kind of help. A closed mouth doesn't get fed. So mm -hmm. I'm here for you. I know Smart Chick is here for you. I know I Am Fearless is here for you. And there's other great people on Periscope that are here for you. I know um, my friend Lisa, she she's she's there for you. There's people out there, but you just got to be willing. And God's going to strategically place you in a position to win if you're open to it. Mm. And, you know, super important, you educated, right, is that you probably had to go outside of your comfort zone, outside of the people that you were hanging with when you were younger. Right. Did you have to kind of up level and kind of go out of what your normal circle was? Yes, I had to actually get rid of my normal circle because my normal circle was I had to look at myself in the mirror and say, is it is it benefiting me or is it hurting me? Well, obviously, it's hurting me because I'm still in the same position that I don't want to be in. I, mm -hmm. I love to say this. This is my favorite quote that I came up with is um, 
You have to be willing to get off the boat of average and dive into the sea of greatness. There's a lot of there is a lot of people that are on the boat of average and you're hanging out with them and you're looking at yourself. You're not liking your life. You're not liking your job. You're not liking your spouse. You're not liking the weight that you put on. You're not just liking life and life is just average. But you got to be like Peter and be willing to get off the boat of average and dive into the sea of greatness. And rather awesome. drown in the sea of greatness than stay on the boat of average. Awesome, Yajikated. I want to read this comment because so many people feel like, you know what, the people around them, they're close, their family is going to mm-hmm. be there. They should be there, um, you know, when they start like a new venture, they start a business. And Monica, I so relate, but this is so such a, a resonating thing with so many people. So Monica says, I recently opened up a resale shop. I'm a bit bummed that I don't get the support that I give, especially from my family. I've invited folks over to visit me and share my page with others. I haven't seen anyone. I would have thought that those that care for me would jump on my bandwagon. Was I so wrong? You know, how terrible, right, Monica? I mean, obviously, yeah, that absolutely. Yeah. Your family should be supporting you. But I think Yasha Kated would, uh, you know, agree with me is that, you know what? Some people just aren't are never going to support you. Some people just don't understand it. Sometimes they're scared about something that you're going for. I don't know what the case was is whether you had a, a decent job and then now you're going into your own thing is that I have said openly that, you know what, my, you know, some of my family still don't understand why I went into entrepreneurship because I did have a great job, but it was something that was super passionate of mine to do. And I don't have any business owners in my family. They all work traditional jobs. So I think it's a little bit of fear, but you know what? They definitely, definitely aren't like they're going, yes, you know, do this, do that. They're more of the fear people, the people that want to stay in their comfort zone. So Monica, I'm with you. And that's why it's super important. Like Yaja Kated is saying is that there's people out there to support you. You've got to open your freaking mouth. Like I say, and you've got to have a business circle of people that support you, inspire you, kick you in the duff like Yaja Kated and myself. So let's see, Tracy and says, I, go ahead, you educated. And I, would say, and I would say to that, adding on to it, is sometimes those biggest chickens in your life are your family members. <laughs> you, We think that family are going to be there for you, but family sometimes does more harm than good. And you have people outside of your family that are actually more family than your own family. I know I have I have a friend named Big Keith that I can call him any time of the day and tell him my problem. Once I tell him my problem, he's like, hey, I'm here for you. I can't do that with half of my family members. Um, I also have um, people like Clev that just people that are not my family that are like, hey, we're family. My boy Eric, he's always been there for me. He's not blood related, but blood doesn't mean anything. Your family are can be the biggest chickens. Sometimes the family members are the first people that you need to remove from your life before your other friends. Mm-hmm. So it, it's all good. Yep. You know what? We've got some definite some resonation here, Tracy. Bless them all and move on. Um, amen. Yep. And Philly loves your a thing you have to get off the boat of average and dive into the sea of greatness. Thank you so much, Shelly, for putting that in there. So everybody, I hope that you have really, really enjoyed this is that again, as a refresh for people that are coming onto the replay, maybe fast forwarding um, is that, you know, this is Yajikated is that he is one of my favorite people on Periscope. He and I connected with each other probably about, you know, maybe now a year time goes by really fast. And Mm -hmm. I remember I had been on a little bit, stumbled into one of his broadcasts and I was like, oh man, this guy is fired up, (laughs) fired up. And he was fired me up. So I like try to make it a point to try to get onto his live broadcast and always said, you know what, when I have the opportunity to do some live broadcasts, I have got to get this guy on and, uh, and talk a little bit uh, with him. So everybody, for those of you that are catching this is that, you know, he's obviously a motivator, but if you have not heard him, do his thing music wise. Uh, again, super talented, super, super talented. So Yasha Kated, I would love to just hear just a little bit about your music. When did you start, you know, singing, um, you know, doing your music thing? 
So it, when it comes musically, it runs in my family. I cool. um, do music. My brother does music. My uncles do music. My cousins do music. Uh, it just runs in a family. But when I really took it serious was um, basically during high school, um, it was my outlet of trying to get away with the negative and pessimistic thoughts that um, people put on me. And even doing that, I remember hanging out with my friends and they used to tell me, oh, you're not good at it. Uh, you should just stick to being like F Flavor Flav and just being a hype man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I decided after high school, um, back in 2007, me and my wife at that time, girlfriend, we, I said, I need to move to Oklahoma. Moved to Oklahoma. My brother just sat down with me, taught me the basics of music. And ever since 2007, I've been making music to help revive the brokenhearted, refresh um, dreams and purpose, and renew defeated minds. And so that's, that's where it all started. You got to check him out. Got to check him out on his website. So, Yajikated, what is your laser focus goal that you're working on right now? Is that this is the start, right? For me to have you on here, I'd love to have you on future broadcasts because you know what? You are absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, what are you looking to do in the future? What is your big lofty goal? The big lofty goal is to get off my regular nine to five. <laughs> my boat of average and just do this full time just to be the stranger who encourages full time be a motivational speaker be a great husband be a great brother basically leave a legacy of greatness to anybody i come in contact with to let them know that nothing is impossible nothing is impossible and that's just the legacy i'm here to leave um my main goal is to be that motivational speaker full time and um, do it through music, shirts, blogs, um, just really just dive in and use every talent and every avenue that God has for me. You're definitely, you are definitely, definitely, definitely going in the absolute right direction. And as I always say, educated, right? One of the biggest things is just keep opening your freaking mouth, right? So, you know, as I always say, you know, always stay laser focused on your message, which I think your message is absolutely awesome, is that, you know what, people need to get to know Geoeducated more. So I encourage all of you that are on the broadcast today, definitely follow him on Periscope. Definitely check out his website, not only for, you know, um, you know, the inspiration that he does through his broadcast, but his music is absolutely awesome. And you know what? He's got a pretty cool wife too, Jess, that does some blogging too. So, you know, <laughs> why don't you give oh, a shout out to your wife, uh, uh, Yajikated, because she's pretty awesome, right? She is one of the ones that totally encourages you, right? She is, she is like my little dynamite. Uh, <laughs> she like 4'11 in all passion. Um, but you, when you're laser focused, you get what you want. I, my wife has been my biggest supporter since we met in seventh grade. And ever since seventh grade, she has been rolling with me. Um, uh, we're going on 16 years of knowing each other, three awesome. years of marriage. Yeah. So she's been that person that has always been behind me telling me, no, you're not stupid. No, you are smart enough. Don't listen to that. You are not a special ed kid. You are more than a conqueror. And for her doing that, that's is she's amazing. And she she takes me to a whole new level that I thought that I would never, ever, ever, ever be able to do. That is so great. And I wanted to say that because you always give props to her on your broadcast. And we do, right? We need that solid rock in our lives and you know to help uh move us along and kick uh kick us in the duff and i know uh just isn't on camera right now but i appreciate you kicking yajakated in the duff on a daily basis because he's got it going on he is just you know what going to be 
you know, blowing up in 2017. I know he is. And uh, Tracy wants to say that you are amazing. Uh, Tracy, both of, my, both of my cheeks hurt because one side I'm getting kicked by smart chick and then the other side I'm getting kicked by my <laughs> wife and I can do it. Uh, we'd be good friends, Jess and I, I can tell. So you know what? So everybody, I want to say thank you so much um, for coming in is that I have put both of our websites in here is that I'm at smartchick.me. Um, I'm your laser focused kick in the duff mentor and Yaja Kated is the stranger that encourages, but I hope that he's not a stranger to you anymore because this is a guy that I am predicting is going to blow up in 2017. If you need a cool speaker for a workshop or as a keynote, right? Is that this guy has gone through many things and you know what? He's walking the walk and has come out on the other side and he is here to inspire basically the world with his message. I encourage you to reach out to him, connect with him on his website, um, talk with him on Periscope, let him know that you saw him here on Facebook Live. So we're going to turn this into a YouTube video. We're going to get this out there on a continual basis. So um, Yasha Kated, what is the best way for people to get a hold of you? The best way to get a hold of me is through the website, yajaketit.com. Um, that's the best way to get a hold of me. If you can't get a hold of me there, you can get a hold of me and my wife on Facebook. Uh, you can get a hold of me on Instagram, um, Twitter, Snapchat, all of them. The link is uh, at I underscore am on it. So you can anyway. And I'm open to any and everything, but the best way is the website. Um, we check it daily and I'm just here to motivate you. I'm here to show you that nothing is impossible. And I like to say, see, nothing is impossible because I gave Cynthia a challenge a long time ago and she loves saying people's names. And I was like, OK, let's see if she can pronounce it. She learned how to say the name in like less than a week. Most people <laughs> that know me still can't even pronounce my name right. So nothing is impossible. And ever since then, it just flows out her mouth like it's nothing. So it just takes time. It is a marathon, not a race. <laughs> With that said, I want to say thank you so much. I'm telling you, Yaja Kated, we're going to have you back. We're going to have you back. We're going to have you back. We got to talk about other subjects, some cool hot topics that maybe are on the top of your mind. So we're going to be definitely in touch. I got to tell you, Yaja Kated, one of the best broadcasts ever I've done. I'm telling you, I knew that you were going to be absolutely awesome. And uh, I appreciate you being here. So everybody, Cynthia Basin from SmartChick at SmartChick.me. I've got my website up there. And definitely, definitely, you got to check out my friend here, Yaja Kated at YajaKated.com for his music, for his speaking and every single day on Periscope for his fired up broadcast. And you know what? What a perfect message on this Monday to say nothing yes. is impossible. Nothing so is impossible. Say it like you say it, Yaja Kated. Okay. okay, we'll do it. Here we go. <laughs> so first thing I need you guys to do on Monday. Today is Monday, day one of your new beginning. So this is what I need you to do. First thing I need you to do is to smell your greatness. You are blessed and highly favored. Nobody can stop you. Then what I need you to do is run, run, run as fast as you can, giving it 130, 140, 150%. And after you do that, be willing to get off the boat of average, dive into the sea of greatness. And whoever told you that you can't do it, tell yourself, Nothing is impossible. There it is. Drop the mic. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Yaja Kated, we will be back again soon. Thank you so much. Have an absolutely awesome day. Thank you for being here. Everybody, thank you so much for all the live viewers. Thank you for all the replay viewers. Definitely connect with Yaja Kated. Definitely connect with me. Is that I hope you are inspired today. Everybody have an amazing, amazing day. Yajikated, we will be signing off. Thank you for your time. You are awesome, my friend. See you, everybody. Give a Peace. shout out. Bye. See you later. Bye.